What's going on everyone? Mike go back with a PSA DNA reveal video. This is a personal order for myself and then a few for my buddy Ed, who's also known here on YouTube as Wesker Griff. So we both just got some in-person slash TTM slash purchased uh, autographed cards authenticated by PSA DNA and have them slabbed. Uh, the cards look great encapsulated and that's why I like to do it and we both have our reasons for getting some of these cards done. They're not necessarily the types of players you're generally going to see in these videos, but that's all right. It's all about how you collect and who you collect and why you collect for yourself. So first one here is for Ed. It's a Harold Baines 2000 Tops. So that's a cool one there. Harold Baines now a Hall of Famer. Kind of a controversial Hall of Famer, but... Either way, Harold Baines in the hall, so that's a nice one there for Ed's autograph collection. Then he's got a Philly, and you're going to see a lot of Phillies in this video. 1992 Bowman Dave Hollins, so that one was authentic as well. So really cool. These cards look great in the slabs. It's awesome, and uh, it's really... It's a fun way to collect. It's a great way to add some cards to your PC and enjoy them. So a couple more cards for Ed. They're both from the 2018 Topps Living Set. One is a Nick Williams. The other one is Jake Arietta. It's a great looking card. Topps Living Set is a sensational product put out by Topps. Popularity certainly dipped a little bit on it, but they still do a great job. They look fantastic. So a couple cool autographs there for his Phillies collection. And then he's got a Paul Bird who had an interesting career. I believe he was actually a replacement player. That's how he was he was in in line to be one, and then he ended up uh, finding his way onto uh, a roster. That's kind of how he got his way into baseball, if I remember right. Did end up having an all-star season for the Phillies. And then here's a really sweet Kyle Kendrick from 2011 Tops, the diamond uh, variation, obviously a set that has become synonymous with the hobby because of that update set. All the awesome rookies headlined, of course, by Mike Trout, and those parallels are just unbelievable looking. So, I mean, just look at that card. Tell me that doesn't look amazing uh, as a card itself, and then it's kind of enhanced by that slab. So a couple other really neat cards there. And then the last one for Ed is... A 2014 Tops Freddie Galvis celebrating a walk-off victory with the Phillies. Cast of characters there, Eric Kratz, Dominic Brown, Cliff Lee, Lance Nix. Not necessarily a pile of household names, but that is, uh, that's a cool-looking card. So congrats to Ed on adding all those sweet slabs to the collection. The rest in this order are for me. Uh, it's a little bit more than Ed, but not too many more. First up, we have a 1996 Fleer update, Pete Incavilia. Pete Incavilia, part of the 93 Phillies team. Uh, this card here, I love the patch on the arm from the All-Star game back in 96. Uh, that's an All-Star game I was able to go to as a kid. I was 14 years old, so that's awesome. Pete Incavilia was kind of a fan favorite. Had a, had a really nice career overall, definitely made some waves, had hit a lot of home runs, had a lot of power, and uh, I'm kind of working on uh, a bunch of Phillies projects. Actually, I'm interested in getting as many Phillies autographs slabbed as I can. Got a 93 Phillies project I'm working on, an 08 Phillies project I'm working on, and then just kind of a random Phillies uh, project, I guess. Here's a cool one here. Greg Jeffries on the 1995 Topps Traded card. Greg Jeffries, obviously well-known as a guy who didn't live up to the hype. He was a modern player back in 89 where people were going crazy over his rookies. And, you know, he had some decent years, but never really uh, lived up to any of the expectations. But had some moments with the Phillies. I can specifically remember his greatest moments when he hit for the cycle against the Dodgers on Sunday Night Baseball. That game was really hyped up because the Phillies were facing Hideo Nomo, who was a huge thing at that point, and I just remember that unbelievable performance. It was uh, it was pretty awesome, really memorable. So, if for nothing else, I have uh, cherished memories of watching that game with a uh, friend and my brothers. So, that was awesome stuff. 
Here's one I got signed at the National a few years ago. It's a 1997 Topps Benito Santiago. So it's a cool, authentic autograph. Uh, Benito Santiago is honestly the first Phillies player I ever really saw and remember hitting 30 home runs in a season. Sure, I saw the tail end of Mike Schmidt's career, but the memories aren't you know that vivid of watching all the games in specific moments. And uh, Benito Santiago, he actually had a uh, heck of a year with the Phillies back in 96. 30 home runs, 85 RBAs, hit 264. That was actually the most power production he had in his career. Obviously an unbelievable catcher, great arm, fantastic player, but that's a neat one. And another one with that all-star patch, so... Pretty cool card there. Happy to get that one signed and then slabbed. We got Desi Relliford on a 1999 Tops, Kind of the butt of a lot of jokes among Phillies fans. You know, sometimes they'll kind of talk about the glory days of the late 90s when you had a guy like Desi Relliford who, you know, was not exactly uh, a super player. But, hey... If you have memories of the player, if you enjoy the collection, then it's all worth it. It's a lot of fun. Here's another card for that 93 Phillies collection, and one of the prettiest sets out there. 1993 Flair. Absolutely beautiful-looking cards. Bright, great photography, great blends. Looks awesome. So that is uh, that's super sweet. Love that one there. Here's another one for that 93 Phillies team. Todd Pratt on the 93 tops. He was a backup catcher for years in Philadelphia. Spent time in New York and other teams as well, but, you know, really remember him. He was actually a two-tenure Phillies time. He uh, he spent the beginning of his career in Philadelphia and then later on in his career as well, so it's a cool one there. Uh, a current Philly, finally, a 2018 tops close-up. It's an image variation, Aaron Nola. So, nice one to have signed. It's a Jake Arietta. Certainly hasn't necessarily lived up to the contract he's gotten. Obviously, his greatest moments were in a Cubs uniform, helping them win a World Series, tossing a few no-hitters. We'll see what he does this year in Philadelphia. He's supposedly healthy this year, and he's on a contract year, so hoping he has a really solid season, but... We'll see. The future will tell us. There's another 93 Philly and a guy who was a key member of that 93 Phillies team. He kind of plugged the one hole they had, which was a shortstop. This is a 96 tops Kevin Stocker. So, really cool. Love the base tops. Look at that AstroTurf. Yikes. But uh, Stocker was a guy they called up really for his defense. And when he came up, he hit over 300 and was uh, really a big part of that 93 team. You can kind of see it. It does have a Hunt Auction sticker on it, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, he did hit 324 in 93. And then he was actually traded to the Tampa Bay Rays for the rights of Bobby Abreu. So that trade actually helped the Phillies enormously as well. Here's a big-time member of the 08 Phillies team, the 2008 NLCS and World Series MVP, Cole Hamels. Unfortunately, he's currently in Atlanta Brave. A lot of people in Philadelphia were kind of hoping the Phillies would make a play for him in free agency, which they sort of did. They were involved, but everything I heard, they made a one-year offer at about half the price that the Atlanta Braves paid. So good luck to Cole Hamels in Atlanta. would like to see him finish his career strong. Actually has an outside shot at 3,000 strikeouts if he can stay healthy and uh, be productive for a few more years. So it will be interesting to see what happens there, but... Nice tops card signed. Here's a Bobby Abreu. This card I actually bought for a dollar. I found this in a dollar box. And just thought it would be neat to have it uh, slabbed up. Love the fact that it's a 2001 tops. Bobby Abreu, super underrated player. He actually did get at least, or just over 5% of the vote on the Hall of Fame ballot this year. So he remains on the ballot. And no, I don't think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. But I do think he belongs in that list of guys that you give consideration to. I mean, he was a force uh, getting on base, extra base hits, had some power, speed, hit for a solid average. So Bobby Abreu, very good player. Bulk of his career in Philadelphia. Also some time with the Yankees and the Angels. 
Here's a card that, if I remember correctly, I got signed as a kid at a card show, one of, one of the old school card shows where they'd have uh, guys signing at and signing as part of the show, not a, not fee-driven. So it's a 61 tops Johnny Callison. The card is really well-centered. Looks really cool. Johnny Callison has always been a Philadelphia fan favorite. So that is a perfect card for the collection. Another 1993 Philly. It's Mitch Williams, who famously gave up that home run to Joe Carter, but he's really uh, kind of done a good job kind of endearing himself to Philadelphia, and I think uh, he's pretty well forgiven overall. Of course, the Phillies winning that World Series in 08 helped a bit, but 93 Upper Deck, one of the more underrated sets of all time. Absolutely beautiful set. The design's great. The photographs are bright and colorful. They look great, and they are amazing for autographs. So if you're ever... If you ever have a 90s player and you're looking to get a card signed, check out the 93 Upper Deck card. Super, super nice. This card was a gift from Blue Jacket 66. Hooked me up with the 1961 Tops Robin Roberts signed. And I just thought, you know what? It'd be cool to have it slabbed and part of my Philly slab collection. So I sent it in and it came back. Looks really nice. So Dave, thank you for that. Appreciate that. This was a TTM, a 1965 Topps Bobby Wine. Really nice signature. Beautiful card. I'm a big fan of 65 Topps. So really nice uh, blue auto there for the Phillies collection. And then we wrap it up with Dick Ruth. Butchered that name there. I don't know what happened there. But Dick Ruthen, uh 1983 Topps. He's a tough signature. Picked this one up pretty cheap, too. I think I bought it for like a buck or two at a, one of the Philadelphia area shows and thought it would, uh, again, be cool for that Phillies autograph collection. So there you go. That's the stack of slabs. I went from placing them on here to uh, just holding them up. But it's a nice stack. It's fun. I like getting things graded, but sometimes it's just fun to get the autographs authenticated and slabbed. The holders are really nice. I do think it adds it adds some uh, value to the cards. It makes them a little easier to sell, but it also just adds eye appeal. It enhances the uh, the overall kind of feel and look of the cards. So I think that's uh, a reason in itself. But it's about collecting what you like, and these are cards I like. They're cards that Ed liked, and I hope that you enjoyed the video. Comment below. Let me know what you think, and I will talk to you next time. Have a great one.